Welcome Taurus and welcome to your August 2022 reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. You're watching GYU Tarot. This is going to be for my beautiful sun, moon, rising, and Venus in Taurus. So if you have any of those planets in Taurus, this reading may also resonate with you. And then also know that these are timeless readings. Uh, they can resonate whenever they're called to you or whenever they show up in your feed, whenever you decide to click on the reading, and that these are general readings. So not everything in the reading will resonate with you. In fact, the whole reading may not resonate with you. So just take the bits and pieces of the reading that do and get rid of anything that doesn't and never make a reading work for you. And also, if it fully resonates with you, it is a gift from spirit to you, okay? All right, and also, if you can, please like, share, and subscribe. That really helps me grow my channel as I would like to be able to give you more content and do something different aside from just the monthly readings. I know this really gives, takes a lot of my time, but it's because I have many things going on. I have a day job and other things, but um, I would like to try to consolidate some things and be able to give more time and energy to doing more tarot readings. At least maybe where I can do this once a week, short readings. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. And then also, uh, I have my ongoing contest going on. So if you have the most views and or likes combined, then you will be right after the birthday sign of Virgo in the next month. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading, Taurus. Since I don't want my camera to turn off and see what it is that Spirit wants to tell you as we begin the reading with what you need to know for the month of August with the first row. What is it that Taurus needs to know spirit for the month of August? What is it that we can tell Taurus for the month of August? So we have the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. So from what I get from this Taurus is this feeling that you're putting a lot of time and effort in this this work situation here with the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles right next to each other it's all about the pentacles it's the, this project it's about work um it's this collaboration that you're doing with on a project with with uh different people i'm getting or different projects that you're working on. Could be three different projects, um, but this is what I'm getting here. Your work is very much on your mind and in, in what it is that you're doing. Um, it is what you're doing on this physical plane that this is something that you're very focused on. So you're working really hard to build and make those pentacles in your life. Um, it's about your stability that you're focused on here. So it's really straightforward. And so I want to go ahead and get an I am everything card. So this gives you something in regards that spirit wants to tell you from the I am everything deck. What is it that Taurus needs to know spirit for the month of August? I am focused, obviously, and we see that from all these pentacles here. So I am focused on achieving my goals through deliberate actions. I take time to feel how it would feel to achieve my dreams. I visualize my desires through a lens of love and happiness. I am focused. So right from the gate, everything is in regards to um, working on and manifesting the stability, manifesting these coins, um, something that's very on this third world, this uh, 3D plane, not third world, but th 3D um, plane. And so that is what I'm getting here and that you're very focused and that's what I see here. But what Spirit is also telling you with the time focus cards is to visualize these dreams as you are working on this. He is l working on, it's like he's architecting and manifesting these dreams for these projects. And so I would say write it down in a journal or if you are into drawing draw that up right because uh you want to have this vision 
in which you are wanting to manifest. And so visualize these dreams in your mind, but put it on paper as well and put this journal next to your bedside or even under your pillow. Somewhere where you are can quickly just carry this journal and architect your dreams, your desires of what it is that you're wanting to manifest. And so that's what I'm getting from that. But let's go ahead and get a card from the Empath Oracle and see what it is that Spirit wants to tell you as well as advice. What is it that Taurus needs to know, Spirit, as advice? Honor your sensitivities. So your sensitivities are a gift. Be proud of who you are. Put your hand over your heart and inwardly say, I embrace my loving heart. So don't forget your heart. So whatever it is that you're doing in your project, be passionate about it. Put your passion into what it is that you envision and what it is that you're wanting to um, be able to accomplish here because it seems like you're all about these material focuses and it's not a bad thing. It is something where you're building towards what it is that you loved. Remember to put your heart into it, your passion into what it is that you do because when you do, you do what you love, you are in a happier, healthier state of things than what you're building and to stay focused. So let's go ahead and continue on now and see what it is that Spirit wants to tell you in regards to whoever it is you're thinking deeply of, who's thinking deeply of you, what it is that you may need to know for the month of August. Taurus, what is it that Taurus needs to know for the month of August or the person that's thinking deeply of them? who Taurus is thinking deeply of. Spirit, thank you. So we have the Devil card here, and then this card wants to come out, so we'll go and take it. The Emperor card. What else does is it that Taurus needs to know for the month of August? And then we have this Hangman in reverse. So we'll keep on going into the third row. What is it that Taurus needs to know, Spirit, for the month of August? And then we have this Wheel of Fortune. And then we have this King of Pentacles in reverse. And then we have the Star in reverse. And let's go ahead and get some confirmation for the second row and the third row. What is it that Taurus needs to know for the month of August? So we have the World card. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so what I'm getting here, Taurus, with a Devil card, I feel that someone is very controlling. With the Devil card, there's this sense of control someone has. And with this three of pentacles right above it, it could be someone that you're working with because this is about working with um, several people or a bunch of people. I feel there's this sense of being controlled or the sense of someone um, wanting to have control over this. Um, you may be dealing with a Capricorn, doesn't have to be, but there's this feeling that someone is... Um, using their own power and not in a good way in this group. And right next to it is the emperor and it's very interesting. So this person may be wearing two faces is what I'm getting with this um, devil card and the emperor here. It feels like this person is portraying themselves as someone that cares about everything that goes on with everyone involved. But in essence, they are this control freak and power hungry person as the devil. Um, and they're also uh, playing the puppet master in a sense because there's a lot of people 
there's two people on the bottom here where they have the sense of control and it's within this group but they portray themselves as um, someone that cares for everything that's involved and everybody that's involved when in essence this person is very much an abuse of power because with the emperor and that devil right next to each other and within a group it's like an abuse of power here that this person has within this group or over your person I'm getting there's someone that has a lot of power over your person or something over your person and they're working hard I feel uh, creating all of these problems for your person or this is what your person is dealing with maybe in, at work um, but with the hangman in reverse they're not able to escape I feel like they are this is like the um, sacrifice they're really sacrificing their time and energy um, it feels like this they're they're really tied down with the hangman in reverse with whoever is putting control over them it feels like it could be a family member or you know it could be a family member is what I'm getting here a man or it could be their workstation situation um, I'm getting here uh, it feels like everything is up in the air or, or there's a sense of control uh, but your, your person is trying to remain focused is what I'm getting here you know focus on some sort of bigger picture and with they're working really hard I feel this has to do about work so it feels like a lot of tough energies where this person is tied down with work and in the end they want to have this new chapter of the world your person wants to come forward with the world they want to bring you this new world this chapter with you um, feels like this is very peaceful from what they're going through it's when they have a moment is the dreams that they want to create and that in the end is this new chapter and you can see how free she is and the stress is a rainbow it's this going over this rainbow bridge of happiness and feeling the sense of ease in their life they essentially feel like they have to work really hard to have the sense of ease and the emperor could also mean institution so it feels like they're in some sort of institution it could be work situation again that's like I'm bringing it's a big environment that they're in um, but they feel tied down by all of these energies but they see the world and so they're focused on having this new chapter with you and with the wheel of fortune in reverse they feel like a lot of luck is not going their way and I wonder why because of the devil right above that is when I'm getting there's this energy that um, is creating all these illusions playing the puppet master and so that's what's creating this wheel of fortune in reverse for your person because they're dealing with someone that is um, uh, feels like they're above the law with the emperor and the devil right next to each other and so it feels like they have control of your monies too with the king of pentacles in reverse or over your person or you may be dealing with another earth sign which is Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn but I feel this person has a strong hold this emperor card has a strong hold over your person's finances their own stability and so your first person feels out of luck and they're, I feel like they're under a lot of stress with the star in reverse here it's very stressful because I feel that there's a lot of stress there may be some sort of depression and they're going through a lot of hardship that they're going through in regards to some sort of work situation where it's this tough energy and um, it has a stronghold over their finances but they're looking at everything that they have grown in regards to where they've been here with here with everything and I feel that they are actually looking at even if it is small 
all of the things that they were able to manifest in this work type of situation that I'm getting here. So they're looking at the positives is what I'm getting here with the Seven of Pentacles. And they do believe in this, this world of luck energy that they see with you. It's your source of inspiration for them, Taurus, is what I'm getting here. And so they're honoring their sensitivities. They may be a sensitive type of person, but they are looking at the small things that they were able to, to grow with the Seven of Pentacles. But um, let's go ahead and get a... I'm going to go ahead and get another I am everything card just because um, it just feels like uh, this energy of needing to see what it is that is helpful for this energy here. What is it that I am inspiring? So knowing that this person is looking within themselves for their own inspiration, I am inspiring to those around me even when I don't realize it. When I am welcoming, kind, and giving towards people, it inspires them to respond to me the same way I am inspiring. To not give in to these tough energies, which may be very condescending I'm getting and insulting at times. To understand that uh, your person was able to contribute as a seven of pentacles and is focused on creating this world, this new chapter. And finding that inspiration within themselves is what I'm getting. And that includes this welcoming, kind, and giving energy is what I'm getting here. And so let's go ahead and get some love messages, messages of love. Let's see what it is that your person wants to tell you, Taurus, for the month of August. What is it that Taurus's person needs, wants to tell Taurus for the month of August? support what is it that uh taurus's person want to tell taurus for the month of august intuition okay and one more card from the hidden truth what is it that taurus's person wants to tell taurus for the month of august and then i knew exactly what i was doing so support lean on your inner circle during this time and so either you or your person needs this um to, needs the support needs to know um their value needs to know that not to be so hard on themselves on these hard energies that they may be dealing with to know that there's support around them so showing that guidance of support to your person and intuition, you already know the answer you seek. So whatever it is that you're asking in regards to what's going on here, you already know the answer you seek. And so the next question after that is, I knew exactly what I was doing and it's, trust that intuition and know that what you're doing is going to or to your, that your person is going to is, is going towards the world and they're wanting they're finding that inspiration from you Taurus because this you are the support and they know exactly what they're doing here and to trust their intuition and to believe in themselves in these small little uh, miracles is what I'm getting here that they're growing and to understand that they're inspiring. So this is the type of energy that I feel that your person is needing from you from at this time with the support and to honor your sensitivities. And so let's go ahead and get a drawing for two card. Oh my gosh, my other, my hidden card truth oracles are falling down. But we'll go ahead and continue here and see what it is that The romance angels want to tell you for the month of August, waiting, worth waiting for, and calling in your soul, soulmate. So from this energy, divine timing is at work in your love life. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So the angels are here 
I'm getting here because we see the angel here again. So there's all of these uh, divine type of energies um, that there's something that's worth waiting for. There's somebody that's worth waiting for. And if it is that your person is not in the picture right now, there's this understanding that's understood that you are worth waiting for Taurus from your person and that your person finds inspiration from you and calling in your soulmate. This is an energy that your person feels from you when you think about them. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And so, like I had mentioned, having this journal to architect your dreams, to be able to have that vision um, when you speak it and you draw it, when you write it, um, that is a way for it to come into fruition. It's a spiritual energy that comes into fruition, what you create. And your soulmate does find you very inspiring in the world. And they see you as that sense of support and that you are worth waiting for. So beautiful, lovely reading. I hope you enjoyed it, Taurus. Again, if you could please like, share, and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. And again, if you have the most views and our likes combined, then you will be right after the birthday sign of Virgo. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you next month. Thank you. Bye.